Hi, I'm Paul, and I am not a gold bug. Gold and silver manipulation is ending as the physical market takes control. That's right. At least that's what the has-beens are talking about. Um, they're so confused. Laugh out loud or cry. Um, huh. Probably cry because it's probably sad or pathetic or a pity or a shame or something. But I kind of want to talk about this today, this Saturday, because it's important, right? It's important, right? The the confusion, confusing people, confusing people who are trying to learn about gold and silver is what's the most frustrating about this. So today I'm looking and there's this video, there's this huge thumbnail in my face and it says metals manipulation ending exclamation point. And the title says, Physical Silver and Gold Market is Taking Control, Peter Gramditch. So, I say has-beens because this is an interview, and I put that in quotes, between Elijah Johnson of Finance and Liberty, um, who in my opinion is a has-been, and then who also in my opinion is not a silver advocate, um, and Peter Gramditch of PeterGramditch.com, who also in my opinion is not a silver advocate, and who also in my opinion is a has-been. And when I say has-been, I mean their relevance in the gold and silver market, and especially the analysis space. Um is over right is over and uh the information is more than just worthless and useless it's confusing and bad information for people who are especially trying to learn about gold and silver right we don't have to get into all the specific details too much but like in elijah's case i'm looking here under this video that they got set up and they're pumping some sort of rick rule silver investing boot camp rick rule is very bad for the gold and silver community and i have pointed that out many times um and i can't remember which videos i'm talking about rick rule specifically in but go watch those videos from start to finish that i began doing in january and you will see and you will understand a few things also, some of the issues that I have with Elijah, but that's not either here nor there, because what I want to do this morning is clarify a few things and explain a few things from a few different types of angles so that people are not confused, right? Like, what are you doing, Elijah? What are you doing, Peter? Why are you talking like this? I mean, come on, the shilling and just out for a penny is pathetic. It is pathetic, and it is evil what's going on in the gold and the silver market. This is bad, and I don't like evil, and, you know, I want to talk to Elijah about this, but he won't if Elijah was actually a gold advocate, or if Elijah, and Elijah knows me personally, and I've interacted with him many, 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 many times. Why aren't you sending an email to notagoldbug at gmail.com, Elijah Johnson of Finance and Liberty? Why won't you talk to me about this? Live, right? Not edited, not cut out like you do. Um, so, so the fact that he's silent on this should prove without the shadow, beyond the shadow of a doubt that he is in fact not a silver advocate and bad for the silver community and the gold community for that matter, because he does not welcome challenging dialogue about silver. This is neither here nor there. Don't want to get into any, um, grudges because I have no grudges. And in fact, I love all people, love all people. I want you to love all people as I love all people, including Peter Grandich and Eliza Johnson and don't ever hurt anybody ever and always be kind to people always. So there's this interview called physical gold and silver It's physical silver and gold Mark is taking control. And, you know, one of the things I want to talk about today is manipulation because they're talking about manipulation and, you know, around minute two is where it starts. Like I said, I cannot stop. <clears throat> Sorry. I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. I can't stomach that interview. I listened as much as I could. It's very hard to listen to. Listen to it all if you're so inclined, but I mean, it's bad, right? But, uh, so, so starting around minute two is when they start talking about the manipulation and I couldn't even get through that whole thing either. But so, you know, it's interesting. Uh, Peter Grand calls it a mega bull market in gold. Um, the gold rally is a mega bull market. Um, and it's the single best prepared gold bull market he's ever seen. But he's also talking about the manipulation that begins somewhere around minute two in this latest interview over on Finance and Liberty's website, YouTube channel. So, um, the reason why Peter Grandich is giving is central bank buying of gold. And a couple of the things he says, and I'm paraphrasing here, although this is like what he's saying in the interview, is that the central banks are buying gold not to speculate. Um, and the central banks are buying gold not to trade it. So, you know, first of all, those two statements are just flat out. He should know that these are flat out wrong statements. Why would anybody say anything like that? He knows exactly why central banks are or aren't buying gold if they are or if they are not buying gold. That's number one. Number two, central banks wouldn't ever speculate, right? Like the Swiss central bank doesn't ever speculate in the stock market, right? Like, like 
come on now. Does Peter Grandich think that, um, you know, Silverbugs, stackers, and other smart investors are this not smart, right? Why does Elijah not call him out on this? Oh, because they're pumping some services. They're doing it for clicks and views is what they're doing. But yeah, so yeah. Um, and first of all, not buying it to trade it. What is the biz, right? Is the biz not... Um, the central bank for central banks does the biz not facilitate gold buying and selling between central banks and the loaning of gold and all of these things right like come on give me a break peter um it's just bad but here's where it gets even worse right like uh so there he just started talking about the reasons why gold's going to the moon it's going to rocket ships launch like a rocket ship right we'll see you on planet mars with our margaritas celebrating the uh uh uh, gold gold uh uh launch into outer space so when he's talking about the manipulation he is uh talking about like uh well here's why the manipulation is ending because the paper trading is ending and it's shifting east okay here are the problems with that whenever you hear somebody talk about the paper trading and the movement from west to east drives me crazy right <clears throat> is everybody's favorite triple letter acronym <clears throat> excuse me communist utopia um like first of all are you getting proper information when you talk about things that are happening in the far east um i've said it before but is that not a decoy rabbit hole hiding the decoy rabbit hole which hides the rabbit hole which is filled with traps right so when people talk about this movement of the ma- manipulation and the metals and all this other stuff from west to east, as if the information is any better coming out of the east. Come on now. That's number one. Number two, how come nobody ever talks about the the um, product on the COMEX, right, offered through the CME group that um, is a gold product that is basically – a benchmark price established by everybody's favorite communist utopia, right? My point is just that, like, the information that people share about this movement from west to east is just bad and wrong, right? And as if you're getting the proper information, right? And as if all of a sudden, just because it moves from west to east, there's no inherent drive to continue manipulating things, right? It's like, it's just faulty logic, right? It's faulty logic, right? People hear this stuff and they don't even think it through. Um... So this is one of the reasons why the manipulation is ending, according to Peter Grandich. And then another one of the reasons is because, um, oh, it's just spoofing, right? And they caught the spoofers. Yay, it's over. It's done. So he's like downplaying the whole systemic manipulation and um, just summing it up kind of like Rick Rule maybe would do. I don't know if he does this I, I, um, recently. Um, I don't know how he would approach this in the last six months, but like, uh, for example, like Keith Newmeyer does, right? It's, oh, it's just the spoofing in the markets. It's just the spoofing in the markets. That's why the markets are manipulated. It's just some rogue traders, some random spoofers. That's all. That's all it is. So they're totally downplaying this. And then Elijah panders to that and plays along. Oh yeah. And they can spoof it up or down in price. Can't they? (laughs) Elijah, you know, better. Peter, what a disservice you're doing. Um, so they're downplaying the whole manipulation and boiling it down to just a couple random spoofers who've already been caught. And that's it, right? That's it. So, so those two things are going to end the manipulation of gold and silver, according to this interview that I couldn't even stomach and only listen to for a few minutes because it's just bad information. But those are the two things, right? The shift in the paper market from West to East. Oh, that's our saving grace, right? And then the other thing is, and love all religions. And don't ever discriminate any religion ever. And don't ever discriminate against anybody, not just because of religion, but also because of things like sex and and age and 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 be nice to all people if they have like a physical disability or a mental disability too. And love everybody always and don't ever hurt anybody ever. So as if the paper trading scene moving from west to east is going to end the manipulation. Yeah, because it's just, it's not going to be manipulated there. And it's not buddy-buddy anyway, right? It's not a buddy-buddy system anyway, right? Talking about um, Jim Rickards, don't even get me started on him. I got a lot of things to say about him too. But this whole SDR thing, who's included in the SDR, right? It's not a buddy-buddy system. Of course it's a buddy-buddy system. Come on now. Oceana is always at war with Eurasia. 
right? Oceana was always at war with Eurasia, right? Oceana is war with East Asia, right? Oceana is always at war with East Asia, right? See how this works? Like, it's like, come on now. Um, and I don't mean to quote that book, 1984, because, I mean, it is a good book, but it is not the be-all, end-all of all things. I mean, it is a good book, don't get it wrong. But um, I lost my train of thought again, like usual, and I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but it's just like... These two reasons, right? Because paper trading is shifting from west to east, right? Wow. And because there's no more drive to manipulate things anymore because of that fact. Wow. Such great insight there, Peter. And because the, the couple rogue spoofers have been caught, right? Please, somebody, anybody, talk to Elijah Johnson because he won't talk to me. And talk to Peter Grandish. Maybe Peter Grandish will talk to me. I don't know. You want to talk about this on the air, Peter, live? I'd love to talk about this. Let's do it. Just send an email to notagoldbug at gmail.com, and I'll arrange it, and we'll do a live stream. I haven't done any live streams yet, and I haven't done any podcasts with other people either. But I'm going to, and I will. Um, I'm in the grind first, and I'm showing and I'm proving that while one person may not be able to change the silver market, one person will can do things, right? Can do things. And I'm going to show that I can, in fact, grow this YouTube channel. Neither here nor there. I hope you're doing well on your goals. I'm doing well on my goals for 2023. Um, anyway, my point there was, like, uh, we need to just take a step back real quick and go to the website. And the website is, um, I don't even know where, I don't even have it up anymore. The Exchange Stabilization Fund, right? Peter. Go to the Treasury Department's website. I don't know if this guy's American or not. I don't know. Um, because this should be like common knowledge, right? Especially to any American that is in the gold or silver market. The Exchange Stabilization Fund should be common knowledge. The Exchange Stabilization Fund, right? This is the riggers. This is the manipulators. This is the interveners. This is the whatever you want to call them. Right, So the agents that are working on behalf of the Exchange Stabilization Fund are part of this group. So when people talk about a group of people, it's the Exchange Stabilization Fund and the agents that are working on behalf of them. What can the Exchange Stabilization Fund do? Go look at the Treasury Department's website. It's right there. They can manipulate any market at any time for any reason. Period. Period. Don't mess with the U.S. Treasury. Don't. <laughs> right? Um... You'll lose, right? You'll lose, right? Um, so, yeah, this is just the problem that I have with it, right? The problem that I have with it is, you know, the manipulation of gold and silver is not ending, right? How many times have we heard this in the last umpteen million years? Um, there's only one way to end the manipulation of gold and silver, and that is to starve the beast. So, Elijah thinks he's all good, and and, and he's all, like... A silver and gold advocate which he is not but for example right like like um um is not signing up that elijah's pumping over there on finance and liberty signing up for rick rules silver investing boot camp 100 remote february 11th for 99 dollars. that's very evil that's very evil is it not elijah let's talk about what is good and what's evil since you think that you are so good elijah so like and let me just explain that with Rick Rule a couple times, just so it's clear for everybody. Rick Rule is a manipulation denier. Rick Rule also um, systemically and repeatedly lies about things, such as the U.S. Postal Service being unable to deliver the mail. Go look at my eBay store, Happy Computer Stuff. You will see over 1,100 orders that I have shipped through the United States Postal Service without one failure ever. Um, and not only that, but Rick Rule mocks silver investors. He mocks silver stackers. He mocks silver bugs. Um, and he makes fun of religion too. Go look at the, is like, it's called like, is gold manipulated or something like that from Grant, uh, Williams's old channel or whatever it was called real vision or something like that. But Rick rule. Yeah, he is not good. He is an evil person in my opinion, especially when it comes to the gold and silver markets. So yeah, Rick rule won't talk to me about this. Elijah won't talk about this with me, even though I personally know Elijah. Right. So these are some of your things that should be like, ding, 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 ding. Bells are going off because like, like David Morgan, I was just looking at David Morgan's channel today. He still does not allow comments, right? He still does not allow comments. What kind of silver advocate does not welcome dialogue? Someone who's not a silver advocate, right? Because silver advocates welcome dialogue, right? 
Um, so this is kind of just like all I wanted to get at today is just be careful, right? Be careful, right? The manipulation is not ending. They're doing that for clicks and views and shame on them, right? Shame on Eliza Johnson of Finance and Liberty. Shame on Peter Grandich, right? And then they try and hide behind the whole, we're doing it because of spiritual preparedness. Yay, we're the good guys. We're the spiritual good guys. This is evil. This is what this is. They know that, which is why they will not talk about this with me. So I got these champagne glasses here that I want to show. And this is to celebrate the uh, ending of the manipulation of gold and silver. And I don't have a bottle of champagne because it's not happening, right? So, so that's my point with that today, right? Like, put away the champagne. You don't need it. Um, because there is only one way to end the manipulation of gold and silver, and they won't talk about it, right? Because um, the only way is to starve the beast. If you want good in the gold and silver markets, if you want good in the economy, if you want good in the world, you must starve the beast, Elijah. Rick Rule is evil, right? There's lots of analogies we can use here. But um, encouraging gambling in a rigged casino is evil because it enables the manipulation. And as long as there are gamblers in the rigged casino, right, traders in the market, there will always be the manipulation of gold and silver. So when you promote gambling in the rigged casino or trading in the markets, you are in essence promoting the manipulation you are enabling the manipulation and therefore your advocate advocacy is not just not advocacy it's bad arguably if we are talking about good and evil it is evil don't be evil elijah and please everybody listening and viewing do not be evil love all people as i love all people don't ever hurt anybody ever and always be kind to people always. Thank you for your time.